Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do FNF once again. And I, God, I haven't done it in so long. And we're going, and we're going to do Die of a Wimpy Kid. Yes, I know. Get ready for it. Let's hop right into this. And by the way, I haven't played this game in so long. So good luck to me, guys. Honestly, oh my gosh. All right, so there's a story mode, I believe. Oh, there's one week, and you can only choose Wimpy difficulty. All right, well, let's hop right into this. Oh, all right. February. Man, school has been a total pain in the butt the week, to be honest with you. I feel like I've been in middle school for like, for like forever. I was really looking forward to enjoying my weekend, but after what happened yesterday, I don't think I'll be able to enjoy any other weekend ever again. After school, me and Rowley were heading to my house to play some Twisted, wi twisted Wizard, you know, the visual when we found a microphone, a microphone, wait, what, a microphone, lying in the middle of the road. It was pretty random thing to find on the road. There was no speaker or anything to connect it to, so we just started horsing around with it. And well, of that, we heard someone speak. It was more of a beep, actually. We then spotted this weird blue-haired kid looking at us. Damn. He was speaking some kind of gibberish. I didn't feel like he was a fan of the snorkels. Bap, beep, boop, tee, die, bep. I have no idea what this kid was even saying to us, but then I noticed he had a mic in his hand, and I thought maybe the mic we found belonged to him, and he was just asking to give it back. But when I did, but when I did, he didn't want it. Instead, he put the mic he was holding near his mouth again, and just made sure nonsense, more nonsense beeps. I was trying to figure out what he, this kid's deal was, then it hit me. He was asking me to do a rap battle. I didn't really have time to do this. Heck, I didn't even know the first thing about rapping but this kid won't budge so i decided if i wanted to get this guy out of my way i was going to have to give it my best efforts so i put it on my bag and braced myself and started singing oh okay it finally starts <laughs> Ooh, damn this is nice actually i haven't okay i haven't okay all right i haven't played f and f in so long so hopefully i'm not too rusty Oh, I am so bad. Okay. Oh, damn. So far, this game is actually really good. Oh, I... Yeah, I'm very rusty, I have to say. Okay. Nothing too difficult, like, so, damn, like, nothing too difficult, and damn, this is loud. Dude, this is actually pretty good. Damn, this is actually really good, actually, damn. Okay. Dude, look at BM go, honestly. Uh, oh god, how did I hit that? Like I was paying half attention, I saw I hit that. Ah, look at him with that diary though. Are you sure? Uh, to me, uh, it has diary on it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, uh, yeah, man, it got kind of stupid. I should kind of retarded, not gonna lie. Okay. Ooh, okay. Let's go. We did. Let's go. We did it. I'm so good. Oh, yeah. Man, that rap battle was so easy. This kid didn't even make up his own verses. He just copied the same lines as me. See, this is what happens when you come up with something original. Five seconds later, everyone starts copying you. I was so bad, I dropped the mic on the floor and walked home, and Rally was right behind me. The kid was trying to get to come back and do another song. I just ignored him and continued walking. While we were walking, Rally was talking about how he wanted to rap out because he wanted to be like, Joshy, quote unquote, Joshy. Who the fuck is Joshy? 
which is basically the this pop star bed for six year old girls. Was supposed to be like what some JoJo C one? <laughs> Uh, I just told him he could go home and we could hang out tomorrow. When I got home, <coughs> and there. <coughs> All right. Anyways, pardon me. Uh, when I got home, there was no one around, so I pretty much had the entire house to myself. I decided to look through my brother's, my brother Roderick's room because I do that whenever he's not around sometimes. But while I was looking through his drawers, I found a video game and the cover art would look surprisingly familiar. The game was called. Friday Night Funkin'. And you won't believe whose face was on the cover art. It's BF. I mean, we already knew, but hey. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that the kid that the kid I met before was just some cosplayer. Because of the because of video game characters are suddenly ex escaping their games and we we could have a problem on our hands. Yeah, I said to walking uh, Dead Island games and Dying Light. After I put the game down and headed upstairs to play some Twisty Wizard. After a while, there was a knock on the door. Knock, knock. I opened the door, and guess who it was? Bruh. I slammed the door shut. This kid is insane. I was about to call the cops, but before I could dial 911, I saw Rowley talking to the kid. It looked like they were about to do a rap battle. I figured Rowley could distract him while I called the cops, so I stayed inside. Oh, let's see, Rowley. Hopefully, I'm saying this right. Comment down below if I'm saying it right. All right. Ooh, this actually sounds decent. Ooh. Oh. That is nice, actually. Oh wait. Okay. 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 I think I'm- I think I've worked out the rust pretty well. Like, I think I- most of the rust is gone, hopefully. Okay. Oh yeah? Okay. Dude, Rowley's got some moves for like, him being like a dork, no offense. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Look at Riley's icon. Icon. Oh my god. Oh. oh I forget. What is that one? It's when Riley writes stuff in his drill instead of like Greg. I forget. I forget what it's called. How about it's cool? They changed the drugs up. Yeah, but I oh damn! I guess they second potato head now. Ooh, damn! The rally, is, I gotta say, it's rally. Uh, I, I I do like I do. Uh, your look isn't that bad, but uh, oh okay, it's back to him. Never mind. I was gonna call him a potato head. Darn, he's safe. Darn. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay, no, okay, no, no, okay, no can see in between this. Oh, it's called Double Down. Ooh, is that Cuphead I hear? Ooh. Oh, let's go. That's his pace has increased a lot. Oh yeah, look at Rally go, man. Also, I just realized Greg isn't really uh he's not really looking the best. Yeah, Greg isn't really looking the best. Oh, that actually is nice, not gonna lie. Oh wait, I hate the cinema. The cinema makes it. The cinema makes it so much harder.
Stop the cinema, please. Dude, that cinema made it so hard. Like, I really had to full concentrate. Yeah, uh, hey, Greg, how you doing? Yeah, I don't think he's doing all right, because look at his icon. Oh, okay. Is he, he's in, god damn, he's in rage mode. Oh god. Oh, oh I'm so good. <laughs> oh god. Oh gosh. Yeah, I think Greg is very fond of us, I have to say, because look at him. Does that scream fondness? It sure does. Alright, let's get out of here. Yep. Screw you. Oh, when mom and dad got home, I told them about the kid and how he how he had followed me to the house. I told them that maybe they should take him to the juvenile or something. But mom said that this kid was probably lost and was looking for his parents. So she said he could stay. He could stay for as long as he likes. And BF is like, <gasps> damn. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I feel bad. I feel so bad for Greg, man. Imagine, listen, imagine a guy, imagine a beepy guy at his house. Like, non-stop, he's just going to hear that alarm beep, man. Alright. Uh, I can't believe Mom would just let this kid into our house. I guess she didn't learn from the pig. Luckily, Dad didn't agree to it. He saw the mic in the kid's hat, so I guess he figured out he was a singer. So I guess he didn't want this kid to serve his piece like Roderick does with his pan. Beep. Alright. Dad and Mom argued for a while, and I just stood and watched them. Dad lost the argument, though. That's normal. So now this kid is going to be living with us. I was going to ask Mom if, he, if we could give him to Rally's parents, but once Mom makes a decision, you cannot change your mind. That is true. Mom said the kid could choose where, whatever room he wanted to sleep in. They chose mine. I begged Mom to make him choose another room, but she didn't budge. After that, Mom asked the kid what, what, what his name was. The kid says his name was Beep Bop. I don't even know that this kid's parents were thinking when they named their kid. Yeah, um, yeah, I think their kid might be a malfunctioning car, not gonna lie. Uh, send this guy to help. Uh, Mom said I have I have to find another place to sleep. I knew there was no way I was sleeping in Roderick's room, so I decided to sleep in Manny's room on an air bed. I know, I can't even focus because Beep Bop is currently singing a bunch of songs down in the family room with the volume at maximum level. What the fu- Alright, uh. I don't know what Roderick and Mandy think about the kid or beep bop. All I know is that at least, at least, dad is on my side. Beep bop is annoying. I don't trust him one bit. I have a feeling his name isn't actually beep bop. In fact, I don't even think this guy is a kid. Yeah, you're right. I think BF is like 16 or something like that. Since this guy moved in, I've been finding ways to put traps in our front yard. <laughs> Imagine, imagine, dude, that, get rid of the hero alarm, go off 24-7. Alright, well, yep, that's all the songs. Uh, credits! Yes, credits! Look, him. Uh, yeah, uh, him, yes, them. And, apparently no one else, okay. Uh, well, uh, end screen, yep. Uh, yep, uh, end, end, end trope type, yep, cut.